Hey everybody, this is Sherry with CPR, Craft, Pray, Repeat, and I'm back with some more of my Christmas tags. This set, I decided to, that I was going to work with some of my snowman tags, or some snowman dies, so I'm going to pull them out and share them with you. I hope that you like them as much as I did. I had a lot of fun making these, and I will be right back and share them, to share them with you. Okay, everybody, this is my first um, tag, and I used the Tim Holtz, I know it's Tim Holtz, I'm pretty sure it's Tim Holtz's die, and I can't remember, I don't have them pulled out, I apologize for that, but I did these when I first started getting sick with my kidney problems, and so I was doing these to keep me busy, and so I put, of course, since put the dies away, and did not feel up to pulling them back out, but I'm pretty sure this is the Tim Holtz die. Now this is where you're going to see, I had talked in a previous video about the glitter paste and the glacier paste. This is the same stencil that I did the glitter paste in on a previous one, and I think I have it out still. Let me see if I can find it. Huh, I thought I had it out. Yes, I do have it out, right here. Okay. Here's the glitter paste. Here's the glacier paste with the same same stencil. But it was so hard to clean out that there's actually some glitter shoved down in the with the glacier paste. And uh and I apologize for my phone. Nobody texts me any other time and I get on here to do videos and now everybody wants to text. Um, there's some glitter down inside here in some of these because it was so hard to get all that glitter cleaned out because it just hangs on for dear life, guys. So I really do recommend if you want to try this to try the glacier paste. I think you'll be really happy that you did. I just put the bow on here and then I cut another tag, just the part of it, and then I used one of my punches to put a decorative edge on it for my to and from at the top. And that is my first snowman tag and I'll be right back with my next alright guys this is the second tag and I absolutely love how this one turned out this background piece here is some paper from polka doodles that Lisa gifted me some ribbon from I'm not sure if this ribbon came from Hobby Lobby or if it came from Walmart because this is wider well, here I have it on my desk it's ribbon boutique so I think that is really honest to goodness nobody text any other time I think that yeah, this is Hobby Lobby brand so this came from Hobby Lobby and I like it because it is a little wider I wish that the red and cream and the red and black and all of them came in this width because I really like that this is a die from AliExpress, one that I've had. I've had this one for a long time, and I put off doing it because it kind of intimidated me. But I absolutely love how it turned out. Love it, love it, love it. And for the two part, I just cut out another tag and used it to, um, to imitate a snow base. I'm really sorry, guys. I used it to... Um, imitate a, a snow bank excuse me a snow bank and then just stood my snowman on top of that and there's room right here to write who the package is to because I don't know about you but on Christmas morning you know unless it specifically says it's from Santa my kids know it's from us so I don't really need a from so the two will go who it's to will go right here and I think this one turned out really cute I absolutely love how it turned out I tried to use the same kind of background paper with another snow or another snowman die that I was going to use, which I'll share here in a second, but it didn't look right, but I love how it looked with this one. Maybe because there's more white to the snowman. I'm not sure, but I absolutely love it. And one second, and I'll show you the third and final tag in this set. All right, everyone, here is the third and final tag. Again, this is the red and black ribbon from Hobby Lobby. I used a regular, one of the smaller ones. It's just like this, only it's smaller for the two. Here is the snowman that I was talking about that I tried using on this paper, but it just didn't work for me. 
inked everything up. And originally, this die has him holding something different. I don't remember what it was, but I wasn't happy with how it looked. So I just had him holding a little stocking button that I had, and I cut the shank off the back. So he's holding the little stocking, and you can see the glacier paste just shimmering in the background. Absolutely love it. And um, I'm really happy with all of these. Love how they turned out. I think this one is probably my favorite. Let me know which is your favorite and why. Because I want to hear, did you like the... I'm not real thrilled about that bow going like this. I'm not going to lie. But, you know, not all of these tags are going to me. I give them away in sets of three normally. And um, to, to the police officers and to... Um, some of my kids as teachers and then I give away a bunch to my family which they just go up in a bag and they can pick out what they want so I mean I try to make different styles I try not to make it all about what I like but what I think other people will like so tell me which one is your favorite and if you could tell me why you like it or why you don't like something about it I would appreciate that too because I want to learn and I want to make these the best they can possibly be because I enjoy giving them and I want them to look really nice so I hope that you like them. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and remember to practice your CPR, craft, pray, repeat. Thanks for visiting me today and happy crafting. Love you all. Bye.